Hey, so if you're looking at the current version of Ignite Pro 4 using it with DaVinci Resolve 16, I'm here to tell you that it works great. And I'm gonna show you my five favorite plugins from that feature set right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna show you the Leave Color plugin. I'm gonna drag and drop that right on the clip. Go up here to Open Effects. And I'm gonna leave the color. She's got some uh, purple gloves on here. So I'm gonna pick that as the color to leave on the screen. And as simple as that, we can leave these purple gloves that she's got on. We can pick any color that we want and Ignite Pro will automatically track through that and give us the footage that we want. Obviously Resolve can do this in the color page, but it's a lot more work than just dragging and dropping and picking a color on the screen. Uh, so that's really cool. That's number one for me. Okay, number two, I'm gonna go into showing you the extrusion plugin. And I know a lot of people want this for doing logo work and things like that. And so let's go ahead and take a look at using a Resolve logo here. Obviously, all rights are owned by Blackmagic for this logo. Not trying to take any credit here. And so if we turn this on, so we have an extrusion. I've already applied some settings here. But we can just easily rotate the, the logo here. X, Y, and Z. And we get that nice extrusion. And it's just using the sampling from the edges. We can change the depth of this really easily. So that makes it really nice. Let's lay this down a little bit more here. Like most of the Ignite Pro plugins, they have a depth of field, which is really cool. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And so we can easily set that focus depth and change the amount of aperture and the amount of blur that we get with this. So that's really handy. So if anybody's looking to do a lot of logo work, uh, Ignite Pro Extrusion makes that super great. Moving on, I'll stay right here on the logo. And I'm gonna to go to the perspective warp. So if we don't need the 3D extrusion, we can go in here and just use a, uh, getting a 3D piece of this. We can do the same things that we did in the extrusion. Uh, this has some added features though, we have the warp. Uh, so we can do, we can tile these things. We can repeat. And we can change the position. All this stuff obviously can be animated, which is really super cool. And we can do this with photos as well. Awesome, cool photo album effects. And we can even do it with video. So if you're doing a lot of media for corporations or if you're doing music videos or uh, just work for weddings or other things like that. So a lot of great quick features for those doing types of projects like that. Hey, I wanna show you number four here, and we've got a different clip here. So this is just a regular clip, kind of some sci-fi here. I wanna add some rain, like we're looking out the window at this guy. And so the Ignite Rain on Glass effect is really simple to use, and it gives us that look that we're looking out the window at our subject here. And there's a lot of plugins built in. We can do downpour, and we can do heavy, so we get the, the little bit bigger rain here, or just a simple sprinkling or mist here. And so all of these, you can see these were being animated in some of these presets. If we don't set a preset, we can set our own, own animation points as we go here and, and utilize animation. So that is a really fast, way to add a look of rain into your footage without adding rain machines and things like that. Really great, again, for logo work, for titles, and really you can just use this for film or anything you'd like. So this is a really great handy feature in Ignite. Really like this plugin. And I'm gonna wrap it up going back to the logo here, going to the Ignite Shatter effect. And so you can see we can set up shatter for video, for images, anything you like. So we can do uh, a number of different settings in this. There is physics built in, uh, gravity settings, and we can simulate uh, some timing 
adjustments, viscosity, the sides of the blocks. And we can set some of the cool things here that I like to do. We can set the extrusion of these blocks. This is really kind of cool. You can get some really neat effects here. And it's really fast. It, uh, this isn't this computer that I'm working on to do these uh, videos for you guys uh, is not that fast. It's just a laptop, really. So you can see how fast that works. And we can rotate things as we go here as well. Yeah, so that might be something you want to look at if you're doing a lot of logo work as well, corporate work. Uh, that has a lot of great uses, really like that. And so you can see in here, uh, the Ignite package gets loaded right into uh, the effects library under OFX. And so there's a whole bunch of things in here and I previously produced a video on lightning, which was really great. That's another one of my favorites. There is all kinds of things in here, and most of these plugins work just fine. Haven't had any issues. Yeah, okay, so you can get the Ignite Pro plugin set from fxhome.com, and it's kind of cool. If you look at the list here, 155 of the 185 work with DaVinci Resolve 11, 12, and 14. I'm here to tell you I'm using uh, version 16. It's working great. And there's just a few areas that, that don't work. The temporal settings don't work. Uh, a lot of the matte enhancements don't work. Um, but we have quite a bit of things that do work uh, that are built in and work really nice. Uh, I really like to see what that projector does, but don't have that puppet tool does not work as well. Um, but we have uh, most of the 360 video works because Resolve works really well with surround 360 video already natively. So most of these features do our work in the Ignite Pro as well. So take a look at that. They do have a demo, I believe. Um, I do own the Pro version of four, which has been really great haven't owned it that long but I'm really getting into using that which has really been nice so if you have any questions or you want to see a video on one of the plugins that are built into Pro uh, I might be able to put something together and get it out for you if you have any other questions about Ignite Pro please list them in the comments thanks for watching this video um, I'm not getting anything from Ignite Pro just wanted to share this with you guys so hopefully that was helpful take care everybody